Today we'll look at the PVT Compensate with Snug Gradient strategy in the Atlas Copco Power Focus 4000 controller. This strategy combines elements of the PVT Compensate and Snug Gradient strategies. It can be used to compensate for inconsistencies in the prevailing torque in a joint, even if that prevailing torque is higher than the application's target torque. Let's see how it works. When programming a PVT Compensate with Snug Gradient Strategy, first set a monitor delay to follow cycle start. The power focus will begin Snug Gradient monitoring from this point. This delay allows us to start monitoring after potential torque spikes at the beginning of the fastening. The power focus will use Snug Gradient to define the snug point in the fastening. An additional video on how Snug Gradient works is also available. From the snug point, the power focus will look back at an interval in the rundown of the fastening to determine the amount of prevailing torque. We can use either the average or the peak torque over this interval. Once the prevailing torque has been defined, the tool will run until the target torque has been added to the prevailing torque level and shut off. When reporting torque, the final torque achieved can be reported either with or without the prevailing torque added to the torque applied after reaching the snug point. In this example, we have a plastic test block that creates about 20 inch-pounds of prevailing torque during a fastening. Our torque target is 15 inch-pounds. When running a standard PVT compensate strategy, we see premature shutoff before the screw seats. Now, when running PVT compensate with snug gradient, we're able to drive through the prevailing torque until the snug point is detected. When the snug point is reached, prevailing torque is calculated and an additional 15 inch-pounds of torque is added.